I'm ready. They've been marinating on what to say to me for years. Better to just get it over with. Yep. You just gotta rip it like a band-aid. What a fool. Damn, aren't you extra? I'm short on time, so forgive me if I skip the meaningless small talk and speak directly. Do you guys see how much chest here this man has? God damn, man. God damn. I've got the talent search I'm organizing and judging. I've got deadlines. I've got bills. I've got social obligations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. You're wasting my time, Tofu. I wouldn't disturb my peace confronting you if not for Tyler's well-being. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Sounds like an obsession. Yeah, let's be rude to him. Is this your way of marking your territory? Tyler's off limits. Is that it? Who are you to, to Tyler? Let's give them some credit. They did also humble brag about how booked and busy and important they are. You make people feel special. You guess them up so much they don't realize they've been completely isolated. I'm here to make sure you never rope Tyler into that cycle of torment again. Oh, he got, she got a grudge to beat me. What the heck he doing? Ooh, I'm not gonna lie though. I like his place. It looks very interesting. They're only here as Tyler's best friend. Thank you very much. Their beef with Jala totally isn't personal, babe. Are you sure? Man, this man got so much chest here. He got, look at his, look at, look at his stomach hair. <laughs> he got stomach hair too, guys. But I thought I was Tyler's best friend. Who the hell are you? Okay, let's see, let's see. Andale moved to America from South Africa in junior year, just after Jala and Tyler had one of their more dramatic breakups. Mm-hmm. The entire class ended up taking sides. As the new kid without any idea of the complicated history between them, Andale became a battleground in their romantic rivalry. Do you want Tyler? You started confiding in me about your relationship with Tyler, getting my sympathy, making me believe your version. I thought Tyler was a monster, and I fell for you. You? You fell for me? Forget the false pretenses of our brief relationship. You stole years of friendship with Tyler from me. That's what I can't forgive. I cared about you. I don't care, but I don't, I don't give a F about this man. I want to win. I played you. But then again, whatever we do, it's going to affect Jala's ending. But I don't know this man. I want to win. Sorry, I want to win. Okay, we're not going to play it totally pacifist. Honestly, I wasn't thinking about how it would impact you. I was just competing with Tyler. Ah, you finally admit it. You didn't even see me as a person. I was just a prize to be won. Do you know how hard it is for me to find someone who truly understands? You left me isolated, Jala. This guy gives me gay vibes. But he said he fell for us? I don't need resolution from you. I don't think you can actually change. The one thing I do know, your cruelty has no bounds. Damn, what did I do? <laughs> the way he poses. This is, I'm not gonna lie, his place is very nice. I, I, I like it actually. Is he invulnerable? <clears throat> oh, never mind. So, are we still pretending this fight is about Tyler, or are we over that little fiction? Tyler's the only reason I'm even entertaining this ridiculous charade. Just tell me the tea, sis. So, persisting in the delusion. Got it. Boy, you play me, I play you. Ooh, very nice. I bet you don't even know Tyler's middle name or her blood type. And the fact that you do is super creepy, bro. Why do you know her blood type, weirdo? Yeah, told you, weirdo. Wow, oh, none of these work. <gasps> you struggle against your culture, but I embrace the support mine gives. Yes, I know your African culture. You are trapped. You are lost. That's why you jump from one relationship to the next. Why you lie cheat evade you know what you might not be wrong with that <clears throat> you're searching for something in other people that you should be looking for in yourself 
judgmental much. Wow, you've clearly spent a lot of time cataloging my faults and analyzing my motives. Is that easier than holding the mirror up to yourself? I'm not returning cruelty for cruelty, Jala, even though it would be entirely justified. I pity you. Well, I don't need your pity. Your ancestors are turning over in their graves. Mine are standing shoulder to shoulder with me, making me stronger. What the? Looks like Andale's so mad at you, they're having a personality crisis. <laughs> That's crazy. You have a personality crisis? Andale. Oh, he says Andale. Okay, got you. Just like a Spanish word. Andale. I mean, it's obvious Andale replaced you as Tyler's best friend the moment you left town. He replaced... He replaced you... As Tyler's best friend. Wait, what? I obviously... It's obvious Andale replaced you... As Tyler's best friend. So you became Tyler's best friend after I left? But don't you think they're being a little overprotective for just a friend? As so, are you and Tyler, like, together? Yeah. Seriously, Jala? Unlike you, I can care about someone without trying to sleep with them. <laughs> That's a good one, though. You'd love it if I lost my cool like everyone else, wouldn't you? I refuse to let you get under my skin. Come on. He healed? No, no, no. Oh. Indeed. Look at that name change and splash back damage. Don't let him hurt you. Heartless. Boy. Yeah, I was thoughtless in high school. News flash, we were all teenagers. Thoughtlessness is practically in the job description. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you cry, fool. Were you not a teenager before? Come on now. Don't fault me. <laughs> not all of us had it easy. What did you do to me? Why am I impressed? You didn't, I did uh, nothing impressed me. Oh no. Come on, pass. Yes, it worked. Even though I'm under something. Loser. Come on, talk to us. Talk with this nonsense. You've never been anyone's rock. The one to rely on. No wonder you're so weak. Hey, I'm not weak. Jala, put your hand down. Oh, you look stupid. I Ooh. respect you more if you could just admit that you're here for you, not for Tyler. Yeah. Why are you making that face, Jala? You look crazy. Oh, okay, we're good now. Stop. Be honest. Everyone has turmoil. You must let it temper you. Yeah, but Carrying your trauma is great. Especially if you're planning to have kids. You can just dump it all on them. Ooh. Ask our Emma. No downsides. At all. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Chuck. Jealousy is not a good look on you, Andale. Yeah, Andale. Oh, you jealous? The daggers again. I'm the model child, a pillar of support for my family, an icon in my industry, helping my community thrive. I'll carry it all without a complaint. Unlike you, Jala. You know what, boy? Get him mad. Yeah, you really sound like a cool, collected person who. Definitely doesn't have strong feelings for me. Oh, he's sweating. Well, guess what? She likes she likes women. <laughs> See, so yeah, you gotta. When change. Tyler looks at me, I know she sees me. I'm seen and loved. What? Of course, you can't stand to see us happy without you. He is so annoying. Admit 
admit it. You still wear some of the clothes I lent you junior year. Oh, he see. Oh, come on, man. Family pressure. Boy. America seeks to destabilize our cultural foundations. Unlike you, I will not allow my touchstones to be stripped away. Man. I got you. I know the door. Bring Auntie. Auntie C. Auntie. Auntie Tundra. Come on. I need my lesbian aunt to help me. Give me power, woman. This man bullying me. We need the power of Auntie C. Punch, punch. Yes. We can do anything. Hell yeah, 50 pounds. Oh, 15. Oh my god, not this again. I don't want to make changes to my body. And I know what I'm shaped like. What people assume when they look at me. When people say non-binary, they think of someone petite. Non-threatening. Not me. Oh, you non-binary? Sometimes I think... Why try so hard to fight the inevitable? Maybe if I conformed, I would be recognized. Understood. The fight's the point. You lose yourself. It's fun to be different. Other people's ideas of you are just limitations. Come on. Part of you enjoys defying expectations, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I surely do. What do you know about what it's like to be perceived in a way that's completely different to how you feel? You know? I used to wonder if the reason you and Tyler could live so audaciously is because you're so American. You come from a culture of the future. Always thinking about who you could be, not who you must carry within you. You had the privilege of being anything you wanted without question, and you chose to be the worst. Man, this man, he got a girl. You know, it's so funny how when we met, I was doing really bad, and you were just the queen of everything. But now I'm successful, sexy, and financially covering my parents while you're crashing at home and everyone hates you. <laughs> so funny, girl. Hey, you ain't sexy. Okay, look at me. Have you seen me? Look at Jala. Jala's sexy, okay? Not you. You with your weird hand thingy up there. Oh. You seem like you're trying really hard to convince me you're doing great. Put it all on, Delay. I'm getting the distinct feeling you're not as secure as you claim to be. Come on, break those walls. In fact, I'd say this little performance of yours reeks of insecurity. Exactly, because if you're truly secure, you would have to show it off. Maybe a few top notes of desperation? Yes. You know what? Fine. Maybe my culture can't handle me. Maybe my family won't ever be able to understand me. Forget them. My real family is the friends who never judge me and never pressure me. Yeah, stop talking about your culture, liar. If my heritage hurts, why bother? Leave it behind. Throw me in that melting pot and put on the lid, baby. He healed all the way? Come on, man. Heartless, come on. I don't recognize you. In fact, I'm not sure if you recognize yourself right now. Yeah. What I should have recognized is that most 17 year olds don't have five entire scorched earth breakups behind them. Mm hmm. there what always happens when kids break from a traditional upbringing chaos their attack is making them vulnerable too come on i can definitely relate no really indeed what does your uncle always say seize the opportunities their weakness is exposed try a taunt i'm trying uncle hinty i'm trying my best 
Ew, I don't want to thirsty. So he is into us. But Uncle Hinty is telling us to do it. Okay, whatever. Come on, I'm beautiful. I'm the sexy one. Why could we never have a threesome with Tyler? Ew, I don't want to imagine that. Hell no, throw him out. We're just lying to him to break to, to bring the witness. Because you were too busy playing us against each other? Oh, yeah. Missed opportunity. We're lying to him. Okay, guys, we're lying. Look at now he's a heart right there. Who is interested? Disgusting. Don't you dare pity me. I'm not pitying you. I'm telling you I'm better than you. You hurting me changed me for the better. Better? What are you saying? You seem completely lost. I'm sorry for what I did. I don't want Jaw to have a bad ending where everyone hates her. But at the same time, are they worth it? I'm not sure what exactly this guy's problem is anyways. How about we say sorry? I know I said I want to be pacifist, but I feel like this man's hurting. Somehow, some way. Not everything needs to be some great narrative of overcoming adversity. I hurt you. It was shitty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We could just admit that. But Andale, I don't think you have any idea who you really are. You're just bouncing from one extreme to the next. Fine. Fine. What the truth? The truth is... You like me, I know. Everyone loves me. I'm... a mess. Of course, we all are, man. I'm scared of being disconnected. But the idea that my family and community might reject me hurts more. Yeah, when I heard you're non-binary and you're African, I thought so, man. I'm all over the place. I only tell my parents good news. I only tell my friends funny stories. But you don't tell them you're hurting. You need help. You need comfort. You need space. I'm afraid I'm going to be found out as a fraud in my industry every single day. I'm beyond boundaries. But am I beyond understanding? Will I always feel impossible? I don't want to compromise who I am. I contain multitudes, feminine and masculine, South African and American. Exactly. Just be yourself, man. I'm all of these things and yet defined by none of them alone. God, it feels so good to just say that all out loud. I feel stronger. Wait, wait, wait. Did we just accidentally give our opponent a pep talk? Oops. My skills were forged by real struggle. Not the kind that coddled middle-class kids like you give themselves to be interested. Hey. <laughs> Don't shock yourself. Stare. Don't be shocked. Put your eyeballs somewhere else. Bring Sandy. I don't care. The spirit of Timber Hill! Bring the boots. I spent a lot of time not being able to stand being myself. I kept looking for someone else to validate me. But now I know. I'm the only one I'll ever need. Oh no! No, no, no. Come on, girl. Pull yourself up and be mama. Mama! Mama! Where is she? He's bullying me. Bad boy. You get the flip flop. Your mother? This is not playing. Shut up. <laughs> Sucker. As you get. What is he doing now? Don't bring your ancestors into this. I this is about so you. So many mate. people, none of them see me. All of them see the parts they want. Man, you have a whole identity crisis. I can't help you with that. You gotta figure it out yourself. Sit by yourself alone. Be alone sometimes. Stop being with others. It'll help you out. I thought you were someone I could be whole with. What a disappointment. Wait, what? Be whole with? Dude, we, you just told us we're a hella mess. 
because of what we did to Tyler. But now you're telling me you want to be old with me? What is wrong with all these people in this game? <laughs> but then again, it feels so real. It, I don't know, relatable. People are complicated. Okay, first off, Jala's not into you. Can you not understand that, man? She's into Tyler, okay? She wants Tyler, not you, Andale. Why are you crying? Don't cry. Oh my god. Jala, come on, girl. Pull yourself. Pull yourself together. I got nothing. She's crying too much. Just attack him regularly. Stop. This clearly isn't about Tyler or me. It's about you and the pressure you're putting on yourself. You loser. I knew it. Make up. Come on, let's be besties. What the heck? Oh my god, it's hilarious. <laughs> the Hova Century. You know what, Andale? I'm happy you and Tyler are friends. You've been a better friend to her than I have. Hard as that is to admit. Aww. You know what? I can appreciate that too. Maybe you're asexual. Are you into a store? Okay, I'm kind of confused about that. I'm sorry that what I did to you two got in the way of that. It was selfish. It was stupid. <laughs> That's right, Jala. Tell him the truth. I know you don't owe me anything, but I really am trying to be better. I really am, yeah, fool. You know how many people had to fight for this girl? I hope you can give me a chance to prove that. Please. Please. I have to admit, this conversation has made me realize I have myself a little less figured out than I thought. Mm-hmm. You sure do. How many people have you told you're non-binary? Not many, I bet. Not many. Come on, Andale. Just be real, be honest. It don't matter, girl, boy, who you are, man. Just be yourself. For now, I'll reserve judgment. Yes, reserve your judgment. Send me a text if you ever want to talk. I mean, you've clearly got my number. Yeah, how do you got my number? <laughs> oh! We went up to 17. Oh, also guys, by the way, if anyone's wondering why I'm using my PNG to model, is because this game, it's kinda, when I use my 3D model, my game lags. So I switched to my PNG for this, for just for this game. But the other games will all be my 3D model. Nah, I don't care. But we got heartbreakers, that bad. Are we gonna get a bad ending? I hope not. I'm trying my best. Can we switch skaters? I miss my girl, Jala. Where, where, where's the lesbian antagonist? Why have we got music box? What? Wait, 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 wait. Queen, turn. Right there. Yes. Okay, now. What's that? What's the star over there for? We go home? Papa! Dude, not you. Not the bear. Oh yeah, come on away. No, turn! Yes! Excuse me, moi. Really? Battle after. Ooh! Everyone's bullying me. I wish we could change character here too, but we cannot. But that's okay. Let's go see Appa, Apochi. I wish I had her sweater. It's so colorful. Apochi, ooh, what's in the fridge? Let me see, let me see. What is that music? I don't recognize that. It's clearly out. I'm clearing out the fridge, I'm helping. Oh, you ate something. Your mama will be mad. That's also gonna make you fat too, girl. Apache, guess what happened today? By my count, you've confronted all your exes. Apart from Tyler by now. Papa, no, I'm not ready. Tyler was Jala's one true love who she messed up. Kind cheated on by kissing somebody else. And we did break up 
with Dia. Oh, not me, not me, Jala. Okay, this is we we tell you Jala's story. <laughs> Jala, you got a whole mess, but we're, we're we're trying to fix it. Okay, but you're right, Papa. We gotta talk to Tyler. Unless there are others I don't know about, which would be fine, of course. Her dad is so understanding. We need more papas like this. And the fact that he's an Indian dad, do you guys know how crazy and amazing it is? I mean, I know her mom's a little bit of piece of work, but I really, really appreciate how... I don't know, I just love this game. It's such a good game, guys. Can you believe this is a new game? 2023? Ooh. I'm scared. I feel like she'd be scared. I feel like Jala would be scared, because... The moment we met jo the moment we met Tyler, we were like so nervous. Like she was so nervous. We all know she's nervous. Don't lie to me, Jala. Save the worst for last, as they say. What are you most afraid of? Death, dismemberment, Tyler stealing your soul and using it as a pincushion. <laughs> oh my god, it's hilarious. I still have no idea what to say to Tyler. If she even wants to Resolve things. You know what, Jala? Maybe we should take the advice that Teller gave us for our sister's wedding. She'll, sh she'll come to you when she's ready. When Teller's ready to fix things, she'll come to you. We shouldn't force it. Just like her sister. You didn't talk to her for what, three years? You just gotta wait. Give her time, Jala. Time. Think of it this way. No matter what you say or don't say, it can't get much worse between you, can it? Well, that's true. We damn messed up. Wow, that was cold. I didn't think the old man had it in him. Well, he probably knows how messed up our history is. What I mean is, you've come this far. Mm -hmm. And with Tyler, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. <laughs> Papa's right. We got nothing to lose. We're already at the bottom. I really appreciate every time she talks to her dad at the end of the game. Like, it's too sweet, guys. Chapter 7. I guess Jella is our only hope. Who the heck is that in the picture? Is that NTC? And also, you know what? I know Jala got purple hair. Okay, y'all. I know she had purple hair. I think this is NTC. Because NTC got purple hair too. And it's short. Oh, and plus, NTC, she love exercising. I think it's NTC. It's gotta be NTC. Mini... Mini and Chanty. Oh, it is what you want. What is it? What is his name again? Andre. Andre Red Jala for Red Jala for filth before they reconciled. She deserved it. Speaking of uneasy truce, Jala finished bowing all of Trucy's club leaders. Did she get through to the skate punks? Chapter 7. We shall see. Cook Papa Flay Fish. Okay. Who are we cooking with dad or mom? Papa Bray fish, this first one. Oh, we're cooking with mom. Ooh, difficult three. Ooh. That sounds Let's hard. Let's make fish fry. The trick is in the marinade. Everything else is quite straightforward. I wonder what else she's been marinating on. Lies, deceit, deception. What was that, Jala? Is this Arani? Everything going to plan with the wedding? Really, Jala? Can't I just want to teach you how to make fish fry without having some ulterior motive? Um, yeah, yes. <laughs> sure, Amma. She's lying to you. For sure. Let's just get started, shall we? Yes. Start by washing your hands. Go, wash it now. Got it, mama. I got you. Wash my hands, girl. Very good. Of course. Score the fish in one direction, not too deep. 
We just want to allow the marinade to sink in, not slice the fish into ribbons. Not slice the fish. Cut carefully. Porridge. Ooh. I've already given you too many compliments today. No, you did. You only gave me one. So, Jala. Uh oh. How long exactly are you going to spend doing nothing in life and living in your childhood bedroom? Deflect. So you did have an ulterior motive. What is wrong with you today, Jala? You're in such a mood. No, you're attacking me first, ma'am. Don't pretend. Take some of that aggression out on the ginger garlic paste instead, will you? Ah, fine. Crush it. Very good. What else do you expect, Jala? A parade? Yes, please. Chandra told me you've been helping her and Tyler with the skate park situation. Uh-huh. So? Is it not going well? Is that why you're so touchy this morning? <laughs> What could possibly be stressful about seeing my ex who hates me every day? Well, I don't approve of the goings on in the park. I've never trusted mascots. That's why I never took you girls to Disney World. Hey! Disney World's very fun, I bet. I have never been, but I bet it's very fun. What? That's why Auntie C snuck us there? I thought Emma just hated Joy. <laughs> How much is here, Joy? <laughs> That's good. Now, add the turmeric, coriander, Kashmiri mirch, garam masala, and cumin to the paste. Then finish with a dash of lemon. Even party would approve. Mm hmm. What am I saying? Maybe I should lie down. Whether things go well with the skate park or not, I hope you won't let that influence things with Tyler. She's been through enough, don't you think? Tyler wants to keep our relationship strictly business, and I'm respecting that. Yes, we're being good, Mom. Okay, you don't have to worry. We're being good. I swear. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Sorry. I really tried to keep a straight face. Oh, how dare you. You only have one sibling, but somehow you're the third favorite child. That's gotta sting. Coat the pomfret with the marinade, Jala. We don't have all day. She's still laughing. You almost did it correctly. I did. Set the fish aside to rest and marinate for a bit. Speaking of which... Oh no, I hate it when she makes these recipes metaphors for our emotional failures. Uh oh. Don't you think you've let the situation with Aruni marinate long enough? But she... But, 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 Tyra said we should wait. I'm just waiting for the perfect moment to strike. It's all in the timing, Ma. Yeah, but timing. Yes, why don't we just dither and procrastinate until the situation magically resolves itself? At this rate, she'll be married and have three children before you two actually talk. But, 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 Tyler said we should wait. Forget it. Light the stove, Jala. That's something even you can't get wrong, no? Our mother's always attacking us emotionally. <laughs> Boing, I got this. Yo, oh. Close Your enough? dad would say you did well. Oh, that's not a great comment. But I'm not your dad. Oh, that's that hurtful. Given your attitude, I'm sure I already know the answer to the question. But still, I'll ask. Are you planning to stay in Timber Hills? Deflect. Look at that. The oil is hot enough to fry the fish now. Mm, so it is. Put the fish in the pan gently. I don't need you getting burns on top of everything else. I got this mama. Super. Come on, mama, I'm an ace. Well done, Jala. Touchdown. Ooh, okay, I like it when she comments me. That 
that's what they say in basketball, no? Um, I think so. <laughs> yes, yes. Wait, no, it's not. Not in basketball. In football. Good fish. Come on, Mama. We took you back to India. Mm. How is it, Mama? How is it, Mama? A little heavy-handed on the turmeric, but otherwise decent. Thanks, Ma. Don't get ahead of yourself. There's room for improvement. Ah, uh, yes, of course. But we did good anyways, right, ma'am? Anyways, let's talk to our parents. Oh, who's calling us? Oh, Auntie C. Jala. I don't know how to say her last name. Sorry, guys. Jala. I'll try it, though. Jala J. Ratne. This is your Auntie C. I need you to come to the body shop ASAP. Why? Do not keep me waiting. Please. Oh, how passive aggressive, I agree. I'll talk to my Morning, Morning Jala Banana. Morning, um, Apochi. What are you up to today? I'm super Ever busy. Ever since I got home, I've been running all over town, confronting the ghosts of my past, doing favors. Oh, yes, we were. At this point, who knows what awaits me out there? Many, many horrible things. I hope you know only bad people have these problems. Only bad people? Hey, that's not true. Don't lie to me. Since you have time, you should accompany me to the salon. No, I don't want to go. When was the last time you had your eyebrows threaded? How about your nails? <sighs> Toes too. Actually, let's offer. She's offered to pay. We do it. Lift up your face. Let me check for chin hairs. Stand up for yourself. I'm not a market animal, Ma. And if we did have any goat-like resemblance, that's genetics. Yeah, how dare you. Marry a dolphin if you want hairless offspring. Fine, Jala. I'm only trying to help, which you would recognize if you weren't so stubborn. All I'm saying is that Aruni's wedding is closing upon us. If you have any unfinished business before that, I strongly suggest you don't put it off. Basically, she wants to talk to your sister. But I don't know where Caesar wants to talk to us. Let's go, Jala. Bunny Chow. Well, whatever. Let's go. Where did you learn to kick butt? Okay, so is my number read on a star or something? Jeez, why does everyone know my number? Sidestepping comments entirely. So cool, bud. So cold, bud. Any, any doodle. Hit me up later. I got some swag you might want. And if I don't? Well, I'll keep shooting eyebrows at your auntie, too. Bye. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, my face. My beautiful face. Oh, my face again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Wait, where did that guy tell me to go meet him, though? Oh, wow. We'll, we'll deal with it when it happens, right? Auntie C, why, why, what's the issue, girl? Wow, this is a very intimidating group of women. Oh, yes, that is. Ugh, both your exes. Jala, run! <laughs> run, Jala. Both your exes are here. I would make a run for it. <laughs> But at least NTC is here. <laughs> oh my god, it's so scary. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do this. Jala, thank you for coming. I don't want to come. Let's go now. Run away now. 
Bye. Also, I love your hair, Auntie Sue, but this ain't the time or place. So I'm leaving. I called you all because we need to talk about what's happening with these kids in town. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Let's talk about that. Not about what happened between all of us. You really picked Jala for this job? Salma can't stand her, and I'm pretty sure Aisha has a burn book full of her yearbook photos. Oh. No offense. No, none taken. Offense very much taken. Thank you. Sound you wouldn't let me in. She was my only option. Oh, yeah. It has nothing to do with the torch you're still carrying for her. Oh. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sounded jealous. Tyler, leave it. Dear, you have it wrong. Say nothing. <laughs> Don't you just love it when two girls fight over the main character? Come on, how often do we get girl romance? Come on, man. Tyler, leave it, die, you got it all wrong. She is jealous. Let's be honest. She's jealous. Girls, girls, you're both pretty. But Jala, Jala this is not about Jala. Okay, this is about the kids. Okay. It's about the kids. Just say nothing. Just let them talk. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Say one more word and you lose the bun. No, Jala, stop. <laughs> Don't do it, Tyler. I no. You wouldn't dare. Okay, we should butt in. Try me, princess. Stop it. <laughs> Ladies, my shop is not the place for a cat fight. There's jealous for Jala. And I'm here for it. I'm living for it. Jealous. You're also jealous too. <laughs> oh, oh, good one, Auntie C. Didn't two librarians pull each other's hair out over you right here last week? Ooh, Auntie C, you got two librarians duking it out for you. Ooh, Auntie C still got game. Jella, you should learn. Okay. What? That is freaking crazy. That's not. Ladies, let's remember what this is about the kids. Exactly, the kids. Okay, not the lesbian drama. Not the lesbian drama, even though we would be also here for that too, but we're the children. Do you think you're getting through to them, Jala? Convincing them to kick that soundy to the curb? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. I'm cautiously optimistic. You can count on me. Ugh, famous last words. Uh-oh. You can count on me, but then <laughs> you, everyone hates you. But, but, so, right now, not everyone hates you that much. Seriously. Hey. Uh-oh. They're ganging up on you now. No, 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 no. Girls, please. You have the same mindset as a teenager. Just speak their language. How oh, dare you. <laughs> At the see, I'm not even a teenager no more. A2, auntie? Yeah. Salma will barely talk to me. So, I guess Jala's our only hope. But so much your sister. God help us. God abandoned us a long time ago. We live in hell. Tyler, optimism, please. That's the positive attitude I know and love, Tyler, dear. Go see what's going on at the park, Jala. Hopefully what you've done is enough. Hopefully. Can we... No? No? We can attack you, girls? Damn, can you see how much are you benching, girl? So, look at that. She even moves her legs. That's the kind of lesbian every, every lesbian hopes to be. Strong and powerful. Just kidding. Only, only, only the butch ones. Okay. Well, at least we can finally change characters now. Everyone's liking this game because I love it. Wow. 
Wait, what? Uncle Hinty? Damn. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> We're mum now, guys. Oh my god, our mom is skating. That is freaking nuts. Whoa, you can do that in your skirt. Ah, oh, ma, you got the move still. You ain't that old. Oh, sorry, mom. Well, well, well. Yeah, well, 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 what do you hear? I'm noticing a distinct lack of a certain bear slash sleep paralysis demon. And a distinct lack of muskiness. If you're referring to Soundy, our very own Pied Piper of the Pacific Northwest, we're no longer under his thrall. We've removed his yoke from our necks. Wait, y'all removed Soundy? But Soundy was a leader. Okay. Our god is dead, and we have killed him. Oh my god, you killed him. Oh god, where did you put the body? Wait, don't tell me. Jala. <laughs> They're just joking. I don't want to be an accomplice. Don't tell me any details. Dude. <laughs> it was funny. Come on now. Oh god. Is it in the park? Did you bury his weird, musty corpse in this park? Yes. His synthetic fur now fertilizes the concrete on which we stand. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the park hungers, Jala. Even now. It speaks to me. It must be fed with blood. Your blood. Please, Cece, not by blood. Cut it out, Cece. We didn't kill anyone. Are you sure? Soundy is gone, though. Oh. At least for now. What happened? After our encounter, I, I got to thinking. Wanted to get some of the others' opinions. One chat later, and we eventually came to an agreement. Soundy was no savior. He was trying to sell us out just as much as the mayor is. He wasn't interested in us or a better Timber Hills. Just what he could get out of us. I told you, girl. He was a tyrant in bear's clothing. Oh, no shoot, Sherlock. Obviously, we knew that a mile away. Well, that ego was his downfall. So what did you guys do to him? He might have talked big in his teachings, but our lesson is the only one that matters now. Soundy only had power because we let him. We're taking it back for ourselves. Glad I could help. I'm really relieved. Maybe even proud. Ew. <sighs> Girl, you'll take that back. No, seriously. It's cool to see you all making this space yours. It's what I always loved about the skate park. It's my little world to escape to. The skate park legacy is in good hands. Oh. God, I think Donato is about to weep. Are you gonna weep, Donato? No, I'm not. Is vulnerability a crime? It's okay. Let men cry. I guess I'll admit you were helpful, Jala. So thanks. What again? Tell me again. Thanks. Of course, I know. Visit us again if you feel like it. Ooh. Well, I admit nothing. And definitely wasn't convinced by you, if I should ask. You liar. You're such a, you're such a cooterer, girl. Girl, I already know. You're grateful. That's okay. I only did it because I hate bears. Liar. It's okay. Mm. I want to be dead now. <laughs> oh my god, look at Where Jala's gone. That's hilarious. I did it too. I want to see her mom dunk. Wait, let's see her dunk. I want to see it real quick, just because it's just mom, guys. Come on now, come on, man. Let's do it. Damn, mama. Whoa, mama. You did good, girl. Get that. Oh, we don't need it. Oh well. Okay, let's leave. Let me be free. 
She got a nice hair bun though, don't she? Ooh la la. Is Tyler right there waiting for us? That is the question. Oh no. Sorry guys, I don't know why my game's acting a little bit funky. Please don't mind it too much. Okay, now we're papa. Come on, let's go. Tyler, what up, girl? Now that Soundy's crawled back into the sewer, Cece is writing a column to build support for the idea of the park as a community space. That is adorable. Salma's going to take pictures. The mayor isn't going to redevelop this place without a fight. Ooh! Yes! We did it! Man, the mayor need to shut up and just let them do what they need, though. Can we take a moment to celebrate the win before trying to bring down City Hall? Oh, I'm sorry. It's probably awkward for you, isn't it? After all, the mayor is Jennifer's mom. Oh. Oh. Oh, is that is that right? Ooh, the girl you were with for three years? Ooh. Oop. <laughs> we didn't do family dinners or anything. Their relationship's complicated. I don't really give a shit. It sounds like you care. She's jealous. Come on, girl. You can't blame me. You're jealous. Jealous. Jealousy don't look good on you. It sounds like you care. Ooh, should we say it? <laughs> I want to say it. Come on, we need that tea, okay? We need a little bit of angst. Why can't you just admit that you do care? Oh. <laughs> you just can't stand the idea that I don't. I won't. I refuse. She do. She lying. Do you and me. I never should have asked for your help. Oh my god, girl. You're too dramatic. The truth is, Jala, you're just a tourist. Huh? Tourist? Nothing that happens here really matters to you. <laughs> you can fix things or mess them up even more. Even if you do, you can just leave. See, we struck a nerve. She's just mad that we left. You don't have to live with it. But I do. Just talk to me. Don't you think we need to have a real conversation, Tyler? Why? So we can hurt each other some more? I'm doing us both a favor. There's nothing to be salvaged here, so why bother diving into the wreck? Why don't we skip to the end? Save ourselves the inevitable disappointment. Girl, you can pretend you don't care, but I know you love Jala. I know Jala means a lot to you. I know. You care. You're hurt. Because you guys want to know something. You guys want to know the truth. <clears throat> True, I don't care, is when you feel nothing for them. No hate, no anger, nothing. True, I don't care, is indifference. As if you're a stranger. There's no feelings. There's nothing there. Absolutely blank. That is true. I don't care. But right now, what you feel, Tyler, is hurt. You feel hurt. And when you feel hurt, that means you cared. You cared, and we hurt your feelings. And you still have something in there that loves us. Deep, deep down inside of your heart, Tyler. So you can't, you cannot confuse me, girl. Come on now. Tyler. Oh. Goodbye, Jala. Oh, she said bye. But well, we can scare her now. I tried, guys. But I, I just wanted to poke it. I, ju I just wanted to poke the bear, and we did. Was it worth it? Kinda. But I thought that guy said he had something. I don't know what he's talking about. Whatever. Let's go home. Papa, I put you. What's in the fridge? Let's go have some. Bunny chow. Ooh, I put you, Papa. 
So, uh, Jala. Yes, Papa? Your Amma and I have something to tell you tomorrow. Are you getting divorced? I knew it. I'm bad relationship luck. It was only a matter of time before I broke up your marriage. Jala, get a hold of yourself. If we were going to get divorced, we'd have done it in 83. <laughs> That's very specific. It wasn't a great year, marriage-wise. But that's not the point. Uh, just be nice to Amma tomorrow, okay, Jalapataka? Jalapataka? And try your best to stay calm. What is that supposed to mean, Papa? I love her dad. <laughs> She's a dream dad. Straight. You've been meeting Jala every day for the last week. Oh, she's jealous. And you didn't have an emotional confrontation dripping with sexual tension, barely disguised as a psychodrama battle? Um, Sergio, I'm pretty sure that's just you, man. That's just you. Nah, well, well, kinda. Hmm, what can I say? I don't like to follow the crowd. You really think you're better than us, don't you? Andale. Oh. No. They're right. You've said as much, Tyler, repeatedly. <laughs> wow, Irfan. Speaking up for yourself. I didn't know you had it in you. You think we're pathetic. You've made it pretty clear. Just be honest, Tyler. Honesty? You want honesty? Fine. I'm jealous, oh. okay? <laughs> I knew it. I know it. You're just Oh, I feel so good to hear that. This girl, she keep playing us, telling us, being rude, being so, so very angry. But I knew deep down you cared that you were jealous. <laughs> I feel so good to hear it. The truth, the truth, guys. The truth will set you free. I, I know I shouldn't be. It's not even about you. Oh, what does that person mean? Hmm? Hmm? Girl, go on. Be, be honest. But she chose every one of you over me. I was never enough for her. Oh, that hurt right there. That hurt. You know, I feel for Tyler though. I really feel bad for her. I mean, imagine this. Jala and Tyler were best friends since they were kids. Childhood besties, okay? And then in middle school, she got with a pink hair girl. Okay, Daya. Daya is lesbian. They had a little fling, okay? They had a little thing. Secret relationship, okay? And then she never even properly ended it with Daya. And then she started dating Tyler after she transitioned. Then she cheated on Tyler by kissing the boy in green. Earfront. And then, these other two men here, okay, on the edges, Sergio, the guy with the gold chain. That guy was just her third grade boyfriend, okay? He ain't special, he ain't important. The other guy, with the other guy on the other edge, he's just the new best friend after Jala left with her girlfriend named Jennifer in a whole new different town. And she didn't apologize to any of these people until now. Can you imagine how Tyler felt after that? Tyler! Oh, see? See? I told you guys. True care is indifferent. I am that petty. Is that what you wanted to hear? I'm still hung up on her. Even after everything. <laughs> I knew it! Ah, oh, she, she made me feel so crazy. I know it. I know it, Jala, Jala. I don't know what you did, girl, but you got all of them into you. You think I think I'm better than you? That you're pathetic? Oh, the truth is, she feels like she's pathetic because after all this mess, she's still in love with her. She still cares. She's still hurt. What a goddamn joke. Jala only dumped the rest of you once. Oh, yeah. She dumped you a bunch of times. <laughs> 